This is the words represented by Braille letters in one lesson. The only thing missing from our grid of 64 cells now is all of the words that are represented by letters. For instance, you can see that on the fourth row, the W, when used by itself, represents the word will. What about the other letters? Well, let's take away everything except our letters and see what words those cells represent when used by themselves. But first, to give us an idea of how this works, let's spell out a word like jelly. J-E-L-L-Y. When these cells are placed next to each other, like this, you would read them as letters. However, let's say we took away the E and the second L so that we are just left with J space L space Y. Well, if a braille reader comes across these cells with this spacing, they would read the words just like you. Now, let's take a look at a statement that includes all the words represented by braille letters. This statement should help make these words a little bit easier to memorize. It begins with, not quite, but rather, and it continues, you and I can have more knowledge so that people just like us will do more. And finally it wraps up with, as from it every very go, which doesn't make much sense but should help us remember the remaining words. So let's read that statement again and place each word above the corresponding letter as we go. So let's begin. Not quite but rather you and I can have more knowledge so that people just like us will do more, which we've already used, as, which is represented by the letter Z, from it, which is represented by the letter X, every very go. Now you'll see that the only letters that do not have a word above them are the A and the O. These letters, like the letter I, are just used as words by themselves, such as when you use A in the sentence, I have a question, or the O in the song title, O Holy Night. Also, you'll notice that most of these words are ones that would not be followed by an S. That is because these cells, when they represent words, are to be used by themselves, not with other letters. That's why, for instance, the K represents the word knowledge and not the word know. Now, a couple of other things to note about these cells. You would also consider them to be a word if they are followed by an apostrophe, such as when you see the letter C, apostrophe T. You would read it as the word can't. It is also okay to place a capital sign before these cells and still consider them to be words. So, let's return to our grid and we can now see what all of the 64 braille cells represent when used by themselves. In our next video though, we'll look at multi-cell contractions, which use two or more cells together to represent various words and parts of words. But for now you've learned about the words represented by braille letters in one lesson.